Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Thursday, obviously uh, double video Wednesday because got last week's vlog up and got the daily video up. Um, so now we're actually working on some stuff. Laura's giving me a hand. What are you working on, Laura? Uh, cereal promos. Cereal promos. We're opening the last few that we got to see if we can get those hatrines or hatenas or which one they, whichever one they are. If we don't get them from this batch, we are just then going to buy them or try and trade for some of the other foils that we got because we have a lot of those. All right, we'll keep you updated on what it is that we're doing and what we're getting sorted. All right, we didn't show these uh, a couple of nights ago when we finished opening them, but we did pull two uh, Hatenas uh, from the cereal packs, so we are good on those now. We didn't, unfortunately, get a, a third one for our friend, but we're either going to have to order one for him or he's going to have to order one because I don't think we're going to buy any more boxes of cereal. I think we've got enough. Anyway, it's now Saturday night and Laura's backing up. A package arrived for me while I was at work. So this should be the Vaporeon I ordered last week. So there we have it. Staff orange stamped Vaporeon. Okay, it has been <laughs> re-sleeved in a nice new clean sleeve. So here it is. Can you see it all right, Laura? Yeah, it's beautiful. So this is the orange stamped, or the orange logo variant. This is much, much rarer than the purple variant that you see. Obviously staff stamped and pretty much every copy you're gonna find is gonna have damage on the four corners. It was just, this one's the only one that's actually really bad. Like the others, that one's not too great. The bottom two aren't as terrible, but it's very good condition for the card. It is, like I say, I think I said in the last video, no copies of this have ever graded a 10 or a 9. High, uh, highest one you can get is an 8. I'm going to grab a top loader for this, actually. So, so you've probably seen this one before. This is my PSA 10 copy of the much more common version, which is was it State, Province, Territories. And then this is the Regionals version. It's very, very cool. I do also have both of the non-staff versions. Um, even as a, just a player's version, this one, the orange stamped one, is still very rare. So I'm super happy to have that. Those are probably going to have a full video at some point. Obviously not in the next week or two because I do still have all those April videos coming out every day. Um, but soon that will have a video. Super happy to have that. I'm really, really excited to get that one. That was the only one where, like, the card is hard to find. Like, I know I'm going to have to pay quite a bit to get all the Vaporeons in a PSA 10, or all that are available in a PSA 10, but I'm going to be able to get copies of all of the Vaporeons, at least in English, easily. I, there's no other Vaporeon where it's just difficult to get a copy, regardless of condition. So now that I have that one, I should be good on at least getting a copy of every Vaporeon. Obviously, I'm going to go for those 10s, but... We'll see where things go with that, but yep, yeah, super happy with that. Anyway, for the rest of the night, I have some work to do. I'm actually going to be working on some of my Lodkins articles and then potentially opening up more cards and then we have a few more days free. So I'll be working on that. Okay, so I meant to film this yesterday, but I forgot to actually charge the camera. We were out picking some stuff up yesterday because uh, the guy who was putting the shelves in in our basement uh, finished those, so we actually had a display to put up. So all of Laura's Five Nights at Freddy's plush are now nicely displayed. Uh, the reason we actually had to go out, we went to a card shop because these are actually the like thousand count card boxes. We were using them to like double layer that shelf. And then at the back, there's some up there just to hold those to close to the front of the shelf. Um, these aren't double layered yet because this one is still a bit loose. He's going back to fix that, get some new fixings in the next couple of days. But they are at least up. There's only a tiny bit of room. So there's one uh, regular size plush that we know we're missing, which just came out. It was a Walmart exclusive, but we'll probably have to order it online now. Um, but that should be the only one that she's missing. Um, but there's not, not much room if they release a ton more in the future. While the basement is just being used for storage at the moment, you can see we do actually have the larger Five Nights at Freddy's plush. There's some, there's some more than just those four, but they're... In the st they're in the storage pile at the moment. The plan for those is that they're actually going to sit along the floor here. This side of the basement is pretty much going to be the Five Nights at Freddy's 
display slash storage area. So once that shelf's fixed, stuff's moving down. Oh, can't see because of the light. This area is eventually going to have shelves and stuff there so that all of the figures and everything can be displayed again. Laura is pretty much up to date with uh, these size figures apart from the most recent one which was released at Walmart alongside the plush so we need to get that and then there's a lot of other stuff that's going to be displayed. We have mystery minis and other figures in there. Plan for those is we actually got this from a GameStop that was closing, it was what they used to display the DS games in. So we're going to have all of the mystery minis and the small figures in there. And then we're going to build some glass cabinets either side for the McFarlane figures. McFarlane figures, people I didn't know, is basically um, one of the other not Lego brands. Um, so McFarlane has Five Nights at Freddy's and some other brands, same way that Mega Construct has Pokemon. So. Yeah, we're going to have all of those. Oh, there's one that actually looks built up. We're still missing a couple of these. Well, he's not focusing at all. We're missing a couple of these, just um, some recent ones. The reason this guy is built up and out is he was one of the he was the only original one that we were missing. Yeah, he's just never going to focus. Um, but we actually found him in some weird little collectible store uh, when we were actually down in Dayton trading cards in. So we got him, he's the only one where we didn't have the original instruction manual and stuff, but that's fine, we have a few more still to build up. But we will get all of those sorted properly at a later date when all of that's, all of that is done. You can still see the aftermath of trying to get all of those serial promos. Right, okay, so, Tuesday night now, I'm pulling an all-nighter, first one in a while. The reason being, I actually had a lie-in this morning, think it would have been late yesterday, slept in late, and then tomorrow, we have to go and get our second vaccine. Uh, so I would have had to have been up at like 6 a.m. anyway, and I didn't fancy, you know, going to bed at four, waking up at six, I'm just gonna feel worse that way than I would just staying up. And I know that the vaccine, last time when I got the first dose, made me sleepy for like two days, so, I'm assuming tomorrow is going to be go get the vaccine, get home, publish one of the videos, uh, the daily April videos, uh, sleep for most of the day, wake up, post this vlog. Um, so what I've actually been doing tonight is I worked on that table. And as you can see, it looks a lot tidier now. I have my laptop set up on that table. What I've actually done was rather than just spend forever trying to sort cards, I've just made up some ETBs of the cards. Because that table had like thousands of piles and it was just like, oh I know I need to check these against certain binders, or I know these are going to go on a binder but I don't have the binder set up yet. So I figured what I could do is just get them out of the way so that they weren't messing with other stuff, and then I could get the binders set up, and then once all of my binders are set up, and all of my checklists are up to date with what's in the binders, I can just pull those ETBs down, I can separate them out, and I can say, okay, this is what needs to be done with each of these. And I just think that's going to work a lot quicker. Obviously, I do still have, you know, some of the magic bulk on the table, because that just needs to get traded in whenever we have magic events again. What I'm actually doing right now is I have a bit of Kaldheim that I need to get sorted, figure out exactly what I still need from that set, get that put away, then have some Commander Legends I need to do the same with, got a pile of those there. And then once I've sorted those, you know, maybe I'll start putting those binds together. Um, I do also need to edit this tonight, because I'm going to be in no, no state of mind to actually do editing tomorrow. Alright, some more cards put away, and we're going to go and get this edited now, before we have to go for the vaccine. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you will join me again next week for more vlogging. And hopefully you're still enjoying the April videos because there's a couple more of those left. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all. all. <laughs>